Hi guys, my name is Dr. Kirsten Smith. I'm sitting here in my office at Vitality MD. Um, I wanted to just make a short little clip here uh, regarding phthalates, which is a huge class of chemicals. It, it includes things like personal care products. It's in anything that is a plasticizer. So it's in all kinds of plastic, anything that's squishable in terms of plastic. So food packaging, it's in vinyl flooring, it's in IV tubing, like it's, but it is big time in cleaning products and personal care products. And that's one, of, between that and food, that's one of the ways that you can really reduce the amount of exposure. Um, and the reason it's on my mind is, is among many other things, is that uh, a couple of weeks ago I was down in Arizona at the big environmental medicine conference. Um, and that, um, many of you know that, that I have a sub focus in that area for many years now. So I often go to these types of conferences, but I just, I spend a lot of time trying to educate patients about how critical it is that they do what they can do to reduce their total body burden of chemicals. And this is just one class, but it, you can actually make quite a huge difference to, to the extent that I actually often am testing people for different things and people will come up rafted in, with these things and they'll change their cleaning products, their personal care products, and be a bit more careful with food and bang, down their levels come, and that's awesome. That's a hugely wonderful thing because here is a little list of the things that, um, that have been linked in the research to having high phthalate exposures. Breast cancer and other estrogenic cancers, ADHD, lowered IQ, lots of fertility issues. Um, phthalates are known endocrine disruptors, which means hormone disruptors. Altered male development. This is a big, big, big issue with phthalates. All kinds of behavioral issues. And behavioral issues. Um, spectrum disorders, so on the autism spectrum. Uh, obesity and type 2 diabetes. So in, in the environmental medicine realm, there's a, a new word, which is called a diobesogen. And these are diobesogens, meaning they make you fat and they perturb insulin, which is a hormone, of course. So there's a lot of cancers and major health issues that are directly linked to this huge category of chemicals. So, you know, food packaging, cleaning products, personal care, these are things you can do. So there's a lot we can't do, but this you can do. I'm gonna just make a quick reference to a resource that I'm almost pushing my patients to just because it's, it's um, super helpful. It's called Skin Deep. And it's through the Environmental Working Group, which is a big, big think tank on these types of topics in the United States. And they have an amazing website. And you can plop in your cleaning products, or your, well, I don't know your cleaning products, but your personal care products, and you can see how, how they, they are rated in terms of their chemical, um, their chemical composition. And it's pretty shocking, because a lot of people, the other thing that's a really a major bummer is that a lot of uh, products that are toted as being natural are full of crap and they're full of like fragrance. Fragrance is a phthalate. Perfume, if it says perfume or perfume is a phthalate. Um, of course, parabens, many, many, many things which are in the personal care products are phthalates and, and that's because phthalates help things stick around. They help things get into skin. It's in the actual packaging of the product and um, you know these things cause serious health issues and um, I really recommend that you guys take charge and start to <laughs> you're gonna thank me later but you really really need to consider uh, examining this corner of your bathroom and dealing with it you've just got to deal with it there's a lot of good products now available in Canada um, that are clean that you could basically eat and and that's you know something that I'm I'm working on with my patients is, is getting them to clean up what they can. I hope that's useful guys. See ya.